Hello, and welcome to Cut It With A Hammer. Today I'm going to show you how I put an hour meter on my planer. I decided that uh, because of the maintenance required on the planer that I need to keep track of the hours. So I went to the local big box store and got a electrical box with a half inch openings, a little piece of half inch pipe, and a half inch nipple. I've already cut a piece and stuck it in the box. And then I also have a face plate so I can cut a hole in the face plate and put the meter in it. The meter I bought on Amazon, it supports up to 230 volts, both AC and DC. And while it has a reset button or feature, I'm not going to use it because it records up to like a million hours. And I don't think uh, I'm going to get a million hours out of my planer. And if I do, it rolls over back to zero. So no problem. It comes with sufficient instructions on how to uh, wire it up. It also comes with a couple of uh, lugs that you can put on wires to hook up to the spades on the back of the meter. So it's a nice little hour meter. So now that we've got uh, all that out of the way, I put description of my uh, lubrication schedule for my planer in the description below. And there's also links to the different types of oils for the for the meter. So let's get to it. Um, so first of all, I took some plastic cement because I didn't have any plumber's cement and I was hoping to use some capillary action to uh, keep the piece that's there cemented in. But I, when I was trying to attach it to the planer, it didn't quite work. So I ended up having to uh, re-glue it and we'll get that later. So here's the face plate and I'm going to outline the hole for the meter roughly um, and I'll take that downstairs with a coping saw and um, cut that out then there it's all cut out and it looks pretty nice so I have a, an old piece of lamp cord that I had laying around so I'm going to use that uh, that's just a little about 12 to 14 inches it should be plenty to get uh, from the top of the uh, switch box to the bottom of the switch box on the planer, so it shouldn't be, would be just fine. So here I'm preparing the wire with the uh, spade connectors. I had an old, old uh, soldering iron that I probably haven't used in 20, 25 years, so I had to rummage around to find that. Um, so. We'll just quickly finish that up. That's a little, uh, there's also little plastic boots that came to cover up the connectors, which was a nice addition. So we got it all screwed together and that's it. So now let's go downstairs and put it on the planer. Here's the planer. This box is typical on some Laguna, um, at least one Grizzly, a couple of Powertex, and a lot of jet planers. So if you have one of these boxes, you can follow the exact same procedures I did. If not, you can improvise if you're so desired. I need it attached to the bottom of the switch block there because that's where the power leads goes to the motor. That needs to be on the motor side of the switch. And here I'm having a hard time getting the uh, box mounted at the top because uh, I needed to clean out the punch out hole a little bit more so I took a knife and cleaned that up a little bit. And then once I got that done and the box mounted and re-glued at the, at the top there, just unscrewed the two bottom screws and then just attached the wires. It doesn't matter which wire goes which since it's an AC circuit, but you want to make sure that uh, all the uh, bare wire is stuck up inside the connector. So just go ahead. Just tightening all that up. And then I ended up taking off, to get all that loose uh, brown wire, I ended up taking the faceplate off of the box again so I could pull the wire up into the box so it doesn't I don't have a lot of it inside the uh, control box so after pushing all the wire to the back 
and putting the faceplate and the meter back on. This is uh, what it looks like now in the brown wire. I tucked it in the back there. You can't see it in the bottom, but you can see it there at the top. So it's tucked out of the way. Then all we have to do is put the cover back on the switch cover back on the box. Just it's kind of an ugly box, but you know, it is what it is. But a nice box wouldn't have been easy to mod and put this meter on. So now here comes the moment of truth. I'm going to go around and plug the planer into uh, the outlet and there's no smoke so that's a good thing no no uh, loud zapping noises so now we we'll come in uh, the power meter is not on because it's on the motor side so we turn it on it comes on everything's running smooth a flashing little icon there means that it's uh, running. The display's on for as long as the machine runs and shuts off a couple of seconds after it turns off. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video.